Why should DJI make a mini series drone that is above 250 grams? The sub 250 gram is an interesting drone category, and it was born out of the need to have a drone that has a weight of fewer than 250 grams and also at the same time be packed with as many features as possible. And just like almost everything in the consumer drone market, this effort was led by DJI. To truly understand sub 250 gram drones, we need to go back a few years. Back in 2019, DJI announced its latest innovation in the drone space. They had developed a small drone called the Mavic Mini that weighed less than 250 grams. This number was important because most air regulatory authorities worldwide don't need a drone to be registered if it is under 250 grams. And this was the main appeal of the Mavic Mini back then. A professional level drone by DJI that didn't require to be registered. That meant the consumer could buy the drone and start flying it without going through the hassle of registration fees, tedious licenses, etc. While the Mavic Mini wasn't the first drone to weigh less than 250 grams, it was the first professional camera drone that reached that landmark. Previously such small drones were mostly toys that didn't nearly have enough firepower to be useful for serious drone users. Mavic Mini, on the other, had packed amazing features like 2.7K video footage at 30 frames per second or 1080p video at 60 frames per second. The idea of packing such high performance in such a small package was unexpected for the industry. And the Mavic Mini instantly became a hit among the consumers. Amateur and professional drone pilots loved the idea of the drone so small you could put it in your pocket packing such a large punch. In fact, the Mavic Mini gained such popularity that it instantly launched a new line category of consumer photography drones in the market, the sub 250 grams. Other companies seeing the massive success of these mini drone concepts, jumped on the concept again. But in typical DJI fashion, they kept ahead of the competition. The DJI Mini 2 was the next mini-series drone by DJI. It launched in 2020 and completely surpassed its predecessor, the Mavic Mini, by a landslide. The DJI Mini 2 was the first sub-250 gram drone to support a 4K video and was an overall beast in terms of raw performance for the sub-250 gram category. It also offered superior connectivity by bringing features like OcuSync 2.0 to the mini-series drones. Making it must have a drone for people that wanted something compact with a punch. But sadly, not everything is great with the miniseries. The first obvious thing is that due to space and weight restrictions for making a sub 250 gram drone, a lot of features don't make it to the mini drones. So, the miniseries can't deliver the performance you can expect from other larger DJI drones like the Mavic Air and Mavic Pro series. Some in the industry are now thinking that maybe the reign of the sub 250 gram drone is at an end. This is due to multiple reasons. The first is that now a lot of federal aviation authorities over the world are thinking about introducing registrations for even sub 250 gram drones. If this does actually start to happen, it would mean that a significant portion of the consumer base that loved the sub 250 gram drone for the convenience and ease of flying would start looking towards other better alternatives. There is no point in buying a sub 250 gram drone if it involves the same amount of hassle as large drones. In fact, in this example, a larger drone would be better because it can have better cameras, better sensors and generally allow a greater number of features as compared to a sub 250 gram drone. An argument can be made that DJI could start working on a DJI miniseries drone that isn't as fixated on the sub 250 weight category. This would be especially relevant for DJI if more and more countries start thinking about making registration mandatory even for sub 250 grams. In that case, there isn't much incentive left to cut corners to make the drone smaller and weigh less. Especially if this corner cutting comes at the expense of performance. This is because drones have more space for bigger and better camera sensors, like the 48 megapixel sensor on the Mavic Air 2, we will see significantly better picture quality. In the end, all of this is speculative. If sub 250 gram drones remain unregulated and free of any licensing, then companies will continue to cater to this market. But if we consider how popular mini type drones have become globally, it is reasonable to think that governments will start imposing even harsher and harsher rules for flying drones. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, you must press the like and subscribe button. And let us know your valuable feedback by commenting below the video.